Okay, I wanted to do a quick video to show you what to do when you get a match exception event in your Workday inbox. I've said this before, but what that's telling you is accounts payable has entered a supplier invoice and you have not done a receipt for it. We're getting quite a few of those recently and it's causing payment to be delayed. It's causing lots of issues. So it's important to remember to do your receipts for all your orders as soon as you receive the items. If it's a um, blanket order for a copier, you know you need to do that each month. So once you get that invoice or once you, as soon as you get that match exception event, you need to do the receipt as, as soon as you can. I just looked up this PO. This is just one that's, that's in match exception. Look at what you'll do is get to the purchase order where you're viewing the PO. You have to go through your requisitions, but find that purchase order. When the blue ribbon up here says view purchase order, you're in the right place. Come down to the service line and look at the ordered amount. That's how much the PO is for. That received amount is how much you received. And the invoice amount is how much that accounts payable is entered invoices for. Okay. So the difference in the invoiced amount and the received amount, I did the math, it's $102.60, 102 60 You can scroll across to the business document line, click on more, and you'll see that accounts payable has entered seven invoices and all of them for 102.60. Remember I told you that the difference in that invoiced amount and receipt amount was 102.60. So this tells you that you're one receipt behind for 102.60. If you do a receipt for 102.60, you're in good shape. The bill can be paid and we're all good. If you want to detail into one of the invoices to see which one they've actually, you can actually look at the invoice, to see which one they've entered. Just click on one. And this takes you to the view supplier invoice line. This is the actual invoice here. So if you click on the supplier invoice, you're going to view supplier invoice. You'll see that up here in the blue ribbon. If you scroll down to the attachment tab, there's a copy of the invoice here. Take a look at it, figure out which month, if, you're, if you want to be that detailed, figure out which month it's for. You hit the back button up here twice. You're back to view purchase order. And you can scroll across and, and look at the next supplier invoice if you'd like to do that. But you know, if it's a blanket order to someone like RJ Young, you know there's a bill each month. Um, and so just try to be aware of that and try to get those, when you get those match exceptions in your inbox, please investigate, go out there and look. If you need to do a receipt, do one just as soon as you can.